Hey there, I'm Dr. Haley Perlis, board and exercise psychology expert here with today's mental toughness moment. And today's video is actually to answer one somebody's lucky dream or D to be exact, somebody's question regarding concentration. And so Lucky Dreamer D wrote in on um, wrote in to me, and this is what was written. I always tend to make myself feeling worse because of one bad moment and end up making it even harder to overcome as I bring too many past mistakes on the table and past conflicts. And I overwhelm myself instead of letting go and focusing on the next step. I would love to see a video on how to focus on the present moment while still having performance for the future in my mind. So this is a great question, a great um, uh, something that we all need to work on and it's really this developing the skill of concentration so I am going to give you lucky D, lucky dreamer D and everyone else a specific exercise a specific tool to help build concentration but I do want to say this first concentration is a skill it is a strength like anything else just as we have to do bicep curls to build our biceps we have to practice can't, unfortunately, I wish I could tell you that it's just like a magic pill, a turnkey. You can't just say, okay, now I'm going to focus and be able to do it. You got to practice. And this is one way to do so. And I'm going to use myself as an example. A couple of months ago, I went on a mountain biking ride and I rode up uh, a pretty steep mountain and that was okay. It was challenging, but it was okay. It was going down where I really spooked myself. I was making a lot of mistakes mostly because I didn't actually know the proper technique, but I was really holding onto the handlebars, tightening those brakes as best as I could, sitting on the seat so I was shaking. I wasn't really being fluid. I was spooked, and I was falling off the bike. I think I fell off about five times. So my past, my falls, my mistakes were really getting the best of me. And then I was wondering if I was even going to make it down to the bottom of the hill. So the future was haunting me, and I really wasn't focused on the present moment. It was a really bad experience. I really scared myself. I didn't know if I was going to do it again. But after about a week, I was playing with it in my head and I decided that I wanted to do it again and I wanted to do exactly what Lucky Dreamer D is talking about. Kind of get rid of the past mistakes, get rid of the fear of the future and just really focus on the now. And here's what I did. I asked someone who knew what they were doing on a mountain bike, a good friend of mine, and this friend gave me, well, he coached me. He gave me specific tips and his was loose on the handle grips and get your butt back. So this is what I did. I've talked about attentional cues before. One to three keywords max. What I did is I wrote loose and butt back on a post-it note. And I actually stuck it on my chest while I was going downhill. And I have a little picture of it so you can see. Uh, put it right there. So loose and butt back. And I taped it onto my chest and it was my sole focus and it guided me down the hill. And yeah, I was still shaking and yeah, I was definitely uncomfortable, but because I had this post-it note with my attentional cue, I was able to, whenever I got caught up in the past or caught up in the future, I was able to bring myself back to the present moment because I already had prepared one to three words, attentional cue, but sorry, loose and butt back. So what I want you to do is anything that you're doing, it doesn't matter come up, be your best coach or, or ask for advice from someone who knows what they're doing. Ask for a technical or tactical cue, one to three words max. I would strongly recommend that you do what I did and write it on the post-it note. I get all my athletes to do that. If you don't want to have it shown, put it underneath your shirt, put it underneath your helmet, put it underneath your pants, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But if it's right here, it's going to guide you. And then the whole way, your whole performance, I want you to repeat these words, loose, butt back loose but back, loose but back. With practice, with time, not only is your performance going to improve, but the skill of concentration is also going to improve. And then, yeah, when you do get caught up in past mistakes or you do start to become a little fearful of the unknown of the future, you'll be able to stop those in its tracks, almost press mute, and bring it back to your one to three word attentional cue and get focused in the present moment. If you have any questions or comments, or if you will have a specific video that you want me to create for you, you know what to do. Leave it in the space provided. Share this video with your support group. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.